Welcome to this install and licensing video guide that it covers Autodesk Simulation CFD 2012. My name is Royce Abel. I'm a product support specialist that supports Autodesk Simulation CFD. In this video, we'll be covering the install process for Autodesk Simulation CFD 2012. In separate videos, we'll also cover the topics to generate a license file, set up the Autodesk License Manager, as well as the install process for the CATIA CAD connection when preparing your computer for Autodesk Simulation CFD 2012, these are the basic background steps you need to ensure that you follow. First, you need to ensure you have administrative rights on your computer, that you have reviewed the installation documentation, you've uninstalled any form of pre-release version of Simulation CFD, as well as if you have any Autodesk Fusion installations, to install those. Install all pending Windows updates followed by a reboot. Lastly, close all running applications and particularly any CAD or Autodesk product. The installation documentation can be opened from the installer by clicking on the installation help button in the lower left hand corner. Some other considerations when installing CFD 2012 is to make sure that your computer specs pass the minimum requirements as well as you want to make sure that the network license server or ADLM is installed first. During the installation process, you'll need to first make sure that you've downloaded the installer from either the subscription center or you'll be using the DVD that was shipped to you. You'll also need the serial number and product key of any of the purchase modules. It is recommended though to use the design study environment module product key and serial number, followed by the name of the license server computer. Just a quick overview of the computer requirements necessary for CFD 2012. At this point, I'll go into my demonstration of installing CFD 2012. Either within your DVD or from the download from the subscription center, you'll be able to install CFD 2012. Once you have downloaded and extracted the files, please find your setup.exe executable. If you're using Vista or Windows 7, you'll need to right click and use Run as Administrator. If your DVD has Auto Run enabled, it will also run as administrator by default. If you're using Windows XP, just double click on the setup.exe and that will be sufficient. Once you're in the installer, you'll have various options. The main option here is going to be install on this computer. In the lower left hand corner, you'll also find installation help, system requirements, and a general readme. Click on install on this computer. Next, you'll have to accept the license agreement. At this point, you'll need to type in the serial number and the product key that was emailed to you or to your contact administrator. After you type in your serial number and product key, you'll need to type in the name of your server for your license or if your license server is on the same computer as you're installing CFD 2012, you'll need to type in 127.0.0.1. In the next screen in the wizard for the installer, you'll have two options installing CFD 2012 as well as the option to install Inventor Fusion 2012. Inventor Fusion is a discrete modeler that is available for free and is included with your CFD 2012 installer. If you do not want to install this, just deselect the checkbox and only Simulation CFD will be installed. I'm going to install both packages here. At this point we'll just wait for the installation to finish. Once both products, or if you only installed CFD, are installed, all you need to do at this point is click on Finish. If you need to change the language from the default language as installed, which is based on the language used with Windows, all you need to do is go into your C drive, Program Files, Autodesk, Simulation CFD 2012, followed by executing the CFD config program. At this time, you can change your language for CFD to any of the below options. If any of the launchers are not working as expected, you may need to go into the launchers directory, followed by whatever CAD package is not working, and for that CAD package, there should be a PDF as well as any other needed instructions to set up the launcher manually. That completes this video on installing CFD 2012. Thank you.